What I'm doing as a chiropractor is I'm addressing that tension, I'm addressing that structural distortion and how it's uh, affected the overall uh, well-being and function of that horse or that human or, or that dog. When they're adjusted consistently, out of the patterns of tension and distortion and fixation throughout their spine, they are going to perform to a greater capability because their body is functioning better. So chiropractic isn't a treatment for anything. And a big misunderstanding is that chiropractic is a treatment uh, for behavior. And I, I, I've heard this conversation a lot in, in the circle of horsemanship. Uh, and the truth of the matter is, is that uh, chiropractic in no way, shape or form is a treatment for behavior. But because we are addressing tension and distortion throughout the neurology, of a, a horse or a dog, you're, you're, go, you're most likely going to see a change in behavior because you can't positively affect any living body's neurology without positively affecting the behavior of that living being. Um, Monty kind of went through a, a phase where he was really, he was stuck, especially in the transition to the canter. Um, so, Transitioning from the trot to the canter, he he just um, got really tight and would get a bad attitude about him. You know, ears back, stringing his head forward, and would want to buck into the transition. And then even into the transition, if you got him into it smoothly, you would get a couple strides in, and he'd find a real tight spot. Or if you barely tensed up in your seat, even he would he would go to bucking with you. We've had Abe for oh, a long time. I, I couldn't really even tell you. And I got into a wreck with him, a roping wreck. And I was trying to piece things back together after, after that summer, because it was that summer that I gave him some time off and then he came out back that winter and he was really lame. You no, know, he would move some, but he, mostly what he would do was find a position with, that he could stand where he could actually wedge himself up. After the first adjustment, the, well, the only adjustment, the first ride on Monty, he um, he was a lot more fluid, for sure. He still had his regular cranky attitude about him, transitioning from the trot to the canter, um, but he he didn't buck or crow hop going into it. And he was a little bit tight in the forehand, but um, but not near as near as bad as he was before. Um, Maddie adjusted him, and then by the second ride, which was just a few days after that adjustment, he was fully fluid and freed up and transitioned beautifully. We never had any issues. His attitude was better about him. He he just, he was kind of a, he felt like a different horse, really, because he just, he picked up left or right lead beautifully in the camera and didn't give us any issues. The, the biggest thing that he, he was just more comfortable overall in his body. He had some issues behind where he didn't want to move behind very well, kind of stiff and stuff and so after some adjustments I mean it was pretty amazing just how he was more comfortable you know he wasn't hundred percent sound by any means and he never will be but, but he was definitely more comfortable. My name is Matty Lido I'm a doctor of chiropractic my specialty actually is animal chiropractic and the name of my business is animals of chiropractic <laughs>